A bit of a double take now at a nearly $2 billion sale of New York's Waldorf Astoria Hotel to a Chinese insurance company. The hotel routinely serves as a home away from home for hundreds of U.S. diplomats, Secretary of State, even host the president when he's in town. From our sister network, the Fox <laughs> Business Network, Lou Dobbs is with me now. How are you, sir? Outstanding. I haven't seen your position on this. Lay it on me. Are you okay with this or should we think twice? I, I think within certain bounds, it's fine. Uh, we are watching. This is actually not the largest deal that the uh, Chinese have done here in the last year. Uh, they bought the General Motors, uh, taken a position in the General Motors building. That's a three and a half billion dollar proposition. Uh, one Chase Plaza, where all the big banks are uh, mm -hmm. headquartered, uh, the big bank. Uh, I mean, they're they're taking up some, gobbling up some pretty big property and uh, making substantial yeah, investments. I think the position on this was whether or not they could they they could spy on our leaders. And this is what the U.S. mission to the U.N. said. We're currently in the process of reviewing the details of the sale and the company's long-term plans for the facility. The State Department takes seriously the security of its personnel, their workspaces, and official residences. So they're given a bit of double take. I don't know if they're going to change their mind or not. Yeah. I, I don't think they are. First of all, there are very few, uh, there are certain issues in terms of purchase that I can object to mightily when the Chinese are buying things through the uh, energy uh, business, technology, that sort of thing. Buying a hotel, if we're dumb enough to get spied on after they sell the hotel, uh, I believe me, they sweep that hotel right now. With the Chinese ownership, they'll double sweep it. Just stay off the Wi-Fi. Hey, you know, yeah. it's no big deal. But listen, you, you you're kind of the mine. Uh -huh. You got two billion on the table. Take the deal. I think so, particularly when they're holding about one point three trillion dollars in, in <laughs> reserves. That's a lot of wall doors. Well, you know we what I remember? I, I remember the Japanese from the nineteen eighties yep. and the nineteen nineties. They were buying everything mm -hmm. all over California, scaring us to death. Really, we well, thought Tokyo was going to overrun America. Well, they were, they started with, I mean, something near and dear to our hearts, Bill. I mean, they're starting with Pebble Beach and and <laughs> oh, hands <laughs> off, yeah. do not Plaza. touch our golf courses. And but do you remember when we we built our embassy in? Moscow in the 1980s. Sure I, did. I was there. We, we spent a lot of money, Lou, and then we figured out that the Soviets had rigged the thing to spy on us. We had the gut the place. I have to tell you, that embassy was extraordinary in its day. And when you go in there, it, it was state of the art. What the, uh, the United States, even in the, uh, as the Cold War is ebbing, we didn't realize that perhaps the Russians, the Soviets, would be spying on our diplomats who were taking up residence and refuge there in the embassy. Uh, a colossal shame on us because we should have known precisely what they would have done. They turned that building into an antenna. Yes. That was before Wi-Fi. <laughs> and a great big set of ears. Yeah, big ears, and they were on UHF. Uh, don't miss Lou Dobbs tonight. There are lots of people out there wondering, what do you mean, UHF? Uh, yeah, correct on that. We'll explain later, okay? <laughs> on the Fox Business Network, and if you're not sure where to find it in your area, just log on to foxbusiness.com, channel finder, to find this guy right here. Appreciate it, Bill. Thank you, Lou. See you at Pebble Beach. Thank you.